Head coach Tari Fanik is confident in the players chosen for the World Cup qualifiers against Guyana and Puerto Rico next week. With challenges on and off the pitch, Fanik says he's not concerned about reports of disharmony within the team. I've been here 21 years and I don't like it. It's, uh, Trinidad and Tobago can be very difficult. You see the issues and problems that we've had behind the scenes because of negative reporting. It's up to me to look after my players, be as positive as I possibly can, bring the youngsters through. With Kevin Molino missing through injury, the head coach said the talented midfielder would be missed, but it's next man up. It's a very big blow, um, not just a great player, good goal scorer, but a good guy. Um, he's somebody that blends very well with the youngsters and the senior players. Uh, he will be missed, but um, that's football. We've got to move on. We've got to be tough. We've got to be resilient. We've got a game plan. We're going into this with a very positive attitude. Meanwhile, Chairman of the Normalization Committee, Robert Haddad, says communication is key for the success of any organization, his included. He was at the airport for the team's departure for the Dominican Republic for a pair of World Cup qualifiers, adding that he welcomes strong personalities in the organization. Ken Fuentes has more. There has been a cloud of mystery surrounding the TTF in the last 24 hours, following reports of a clash between head coach Terry Fennec and media officer Sean Fuentes. Haddad stressed it was a matter of miscommunication, one he vouches to solve. The most important thing is communication. We need to communicate better and we need to be clearer in what we do and how we do it. I'm not pointing fingers to Sean or I'm not pointing fingers to Terry, but I would say there's enough reason to say we need to understand each other better and when moving forward, I will make sure the communication is clearer. He adds he welcomes big personalities in his organization. But with the issue stemming from the presence of a particular member of the media, the question is, are all media welcome to TTFA press conferences? Absolutely yes. Absolutely yes. Meanwhile, the normalizing committee head admits his first year at office has been anything but easy. Well, it's been a tough year. As you know, the first nine months between court matters and, um, and then suspension for near two months, we've come back in in December and it's been very difficult. It's been, we've had to manage a lot of personalities. We've had to understand FIFA, understand CONCACAF, work with, 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 with people that were, were here for many years. The TTFA staff has been here for many years. I always tell people it's easier to start a new company and start a new culture than it is to get into something and change a culture. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.